So when it comes to deep cleaning my Dyson, what I like to do is take apart the Dyson first. The model I have is a V8, it's the animal one. I purchased it around four and a half years ago. The only thing that sucks about these vacuums is the battery life. The battery life is crap. But the cleaning process of them, like the vacuuming process, is amazing. Also, this video is not sponsored. I wish I purchased this with my own money many years ago. And yeah, this is how I maintain my Dyson. So like I said, I take it apart. That's going to go into the bathtub. That's the easiest part to clean. I just rinse it. Um, I rinse the inside of it with some hot water with the shower hose. And um, you guys are not going to be able to see how dirty it is, but it's very dirty in there. So just rinse it in the bathtub. Like I said, easiest part. For this like head part, it is very dirty. I'm not going to lie. I haven't cleaned this since the springtime. So I'm slacking. There's a lot of dust on here. Um, yeah. And then if you flip it over, ta-da, we have a ton of hair. I'm um, pretty sure that is a bug. Yeah, that's definitely a bug. Yeah, my cat likes to kill bugs and leave the bodies behind. So I have a lot of cutting to do with this hair. I have very long hair and it ends up all over the house. So yeah, I know it's nasty, but I want to show you guys a decent before and after. Because you can definitely clean this and make it look brand new again. Now when it comes to the main part of the vacuum, I try my best to be very, very careful with this because this is where the moda is and I would cry if anything happened to the moda. Like, I wouldn't want any water to get into it. So I always try my best to take apart the Dyson as much as I can and leave the moda, like the base part, the brain basically, to the side and use water on everything else that does not have a moda. And as you guys can see, I do need to empty this out. I vacuum every day, usually at nighttime before bed, I vacuum. And yeah, it gets like this literally every day. Yeah, I gotta empty that out, clean the filter in there, and also clean this filter. So the first thing I do is I empty out the trash from the regular bin. And then I take that filter apart, bang it against the trash can so I can get some kind of dirt out before deep cleaning it. And this is disgusting. The before and after I have towards the end of the video is insane with this particular piece and this piece. Um, I can't believe how much of my hair was built up in this vacuum also i wanted to point out yes i'm doing this in the kitchen my bathroom is just way too small and i'm doing this on the side of the countertop where i do not use i do not cook on this side milo eats his food with it on his little mat on this side of the kitchen so it's not used for regular use so sometimes i just clean the vacuum over here it's what works but as you guys can see how much hair came out of this vacuum and that's only from the springtime. And no, I'm not going bald. We lose up to 100 strands a day. And like I said, I haven't deep cleaned the vacuum since the springtime. So we're heading towards almost fall. I mean, it's August already. So of course, there's going to be built up hair and a ton of dust within side of this vacuum. I was kind of surprised to see this part. I thought that was a piece of the vacuum until I realized it was just built up hair. Like my hair, Milo's fur, um, dust from the carpet. And I'm not gonna lie, it was very satisfying taking this part out of the vacuum. So unfortunately for this piece, it does have a moda, which means you have to be very, very careful with it. So this is going to have to get washed on the side once when I'm done with everything else because this cannot be submerged in water like everything else is going to be. I wanted to fasten up these particular clips because it's common sense. I submerged everything in warm water with some soap for about 15 minutes to loosen up all of the dirt 
I don't have to use any sponges or anything like that because when you let things sit in warm water and soap, it kind of just works its own magic. So it was less scrubbing for me. And I think the most dirt that came out of this was this filter part. Out of all of the pieces that were in water, this filter was the dirtiest. It's insane how much junk your vacuum can actually hoard. So when it comes to the last piece to be cleaned, like I said, I'm very gentle with this. I just use a wet rag with some soap, tiny bit of soap on it to try to get into the cracks of this, va this vacuum part. And I will say that this method works well, but you have to be careful. Again, do not bang up the motor. Um, I came up with this method like couple months back because my fingers I could not fit them with in like with under the motor basically what I'm trying to say I could not get under the motor so if you have a hard time reaching this particular part of the vacuum try this butter knife method it works really well so I want to show you guys how everything looks it's not perfect but it's as clean as I can get it so obviously like this part right here, oops, uh oh, <laughs> um, this part right here is completely clean. It looks brand new again. This stuff is going to dry for a good two days. So I'm not going to be able to vacuum for that long. Um, the filter is clean. This filter is clean. That tube is, this came out brand new again. There's like no nastiness anywhere. So as you guys can tell, it looks brand new this is also nice and clean if you guys remember what i showed you this inside is perfect now there's no dust no hair i ended up getting the um white stuff that was all on here off as well now the one thing i wasn't able to get completely clean is this part so all of this is nice and clean and this part right here, I could not reach it at all. So I was able to make everything look semi-clean with this headpiece. Do not mind all the other marks on it. It is banged up. I mean, I've had it for a while now. So there is a lot of banged up nicks. I will be able to take some of this stuff off. Um, I will do that later on. But that part at the end, I could not get that clean I couldn't reach any further with the napkin and the butter knife method so that's just gonna have to stay like that it is what it is I know you can unscrew this motor part but I don't trust myself so I'm just gonna leave it like that so anyways you guys that's how I clean my Dyson super simple I try my best to be very careful and like I said with the motor piece which is over there all I did was dust it with a dry rag and I mean the thing looks brand new so yeah that is everything like I said I'm gonna wait two days for everything to dry completely assemble it back together and that is it I can use the vacuum again and do a deep clean every season but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you got something out of it let me know down below how you clean your Dyson or your vacuum is it similar to how I do it I know everyone's cleaning method is different so I'm just curious on how you guys clean your vacuum 